Uh, but one thing I will say is that the truth is out there. What if I, what if I beamed up from Earth and went like a trillion light years one direction? Stephen Hawking said, black holes are portals. I just don't understand how people can say that there's nothing out there. There's got to be. Our universe is massive, dog. I mean, if there's nothing out there truly, I'll be shocked. And I will never ever, but, but they, there's no way to prove it. That's the thing. That's the thing. There's no way to truly prove this until why couldn't I be born? Dude, why couldn't we be born 8,000 years from now? What if we, my friends, closed our eyes tonight when we go to bed and we, we think 2018 is on the horizon, we wake up and it's the year 10,020. What would we see? Do you think the old humans back in the American Revolution could imagine a world like this now? George Washington was a human that existed and no one living right now has ever seen him. There's humans far earlier than that. King Tut was a man and he, could, could he see this? Imagine what we can't see. I don't know. To me, that theory is astonishing and disturbing it's like everything at once. There's so much mystery. I have another question for you. A choice. A button. You press that button, and the thing we talked about, waking up in 10,000 years, it happens to you. Everything you know now, gone. Your, your, your interactions, your, your relationships, your, your achievements, your physical possessions. You literally just wake up as you, who you are right now, same age in 10,000 years, on the same planet, in a safe place, you just wake up. Would you press that button? I'm being serious, dead serious. Are you going to take that journey? And here's the thing, you can press the button now and you know, it doesn't happen right away. It doesn't happen instantly. You have some time. By the time it hits 12 midnight, it ain't 2018, nigga, it's 10,000. And that's the crazy part to me. It's going to happen. 10,000 years have passed in a blink of an eye on the planet Earth. Another 10,000 is going to pass with you and me looking at each other right now. A second just passed, a minute, an hour, a day, a year, a decade, a century, a millennia. It's so fascinating to me. And it's like, wow, I wish I could see it. <laughs> Man, that would be badass. <sighs> Nigga, we're all year, it's the year 10,000 AD. What is happening? What are we doing? What, 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 what is, what isn't? What have we seen? What do we know? What do we look like? Do we even look like us in 10,000 years? Man, <laughs> I wish to God I could know. But there may be options. There may be options. What if there was a way to cryogenically preserve ourselves that was reliable enough to where we would be able to have consciousness of our previous selves in the future? There may be some ways that that path is opened up to us by the time we reach death's door, maybe in 2080. I would do it. I would preserve my shit. I want to see everything. I mean, I think if you don't, that's, that's obviously respectable too. You just want to live you, and you want to go when you want to go. But, but what if there was something there that we don't want to see? But would you want to take the risk of seeing it though? I don't know. God damn it. I'm fucking myself up. Uh, whenever it's the end of the year, I always think about shit like this because it's like so interesting to me how the passage of time, it's such a rudimentary concept that we all know and experience and think we understand. But do you really understand what time is? I don't know. Ditches, rappers, rappers, bitches. Way you talking on Twitter, little boy, I can't tell the difference. Purple herb in my swisher, yellow, I just my witness. Pull up bitches so vicious, that's seven digits, the mission. Listen, 60 FBS, these other rappers moving slow mo. I was broke as shit, now I'm tripping, it's a polo. I don't give a promo, I stay on a low low.